Good morning. It's hard to believe that back on Ash Wednesday, when all of us received ashes on our forehead, that we had entered liturgically into the season of Lent, into the season of suffering, dying, and rising with Jesus Christ. And who would have thought this Lent would be as it is now, where we join with all of our sisters and brothers worldwide in their suffering and in their dyings and in their risings. I recall back to the first Sunday of Lent when we celebrated Jesus in the desert. He was already social distancing in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. And to think that he made it without Amazon, Netflix, and Uber Eats. And we certainly can do the same. I'm reminded of an email that was sent to me by Theo, one of our candidates in the RCIA, who she and the others who desperately want to be welcomed into the church. But of course, it's going to have to be delayed until, well, we're out of the storm. At any rate, she brought to mind, and I bring this before you as well, what is it that may have helped prepare you, prepare me for this pandemic, in particular for living in-house, in place, in isolation and social distancing? Well, she shared with me an email with her friend who had been in the Marines and what it meant to prepare for this pandemic by their deployments. And it certainly recalled for me my deployments to Operation Just Cause, to Saudi Arabia, to Egypt, where I was underground for many weeks, not even knowing where I was. But at any rate, deployments helped us, those in the military, retired and otherwise, and presently now on deployment, to actually prepare for this in-place isolation this in-place social distancing. And I share with you some of the comments that she made to me about these deployments. You're used to seeing the same thing every day for months on end. The same colors, the same people, the same buildings. You're used to being in a specific defined area and not being able to leave. Being told you can't go to a certain place doesn't really bother you. Eating the same food at the same place every day, every week, every month is no big deal. AFIs, well, where you buy your supplies, AFI sells out of stuff for months and you just roll with it. Unless you're seriously injured or sick enough to be in danger of dying, you're used to medical personnel telling you there's nothing they can do for you. Drink more water and take Tylenol or what do you, whatever you have in your personal stash. You are near people all over the world who don't necessarily act, think, or believe as you do. You live and work with others who oftentimes you would like to maybe soccer punch because you don't always see eye to eye, but you learn to coexist. And the list goes on. My deployments, Thales deployments, and the deployments of others have certainly helped to prepare us to live in place, in isolation, to see the same things, the same people with whom we live with, and we will survive. I'm finally reminded of this. You and I have everything within us to face the storms of life, including this pandemic, and it's right within us. To exist is to find God within. I pray it to be so, along with all the holy women and men of God, St. Mary Magdalene, Pray for us.